Hello and welcome. Now today I'm going to do a flick through of Amiga Action for the first time, uh, December 1990 issue. Now I haven't read through one of these properly, especially in my teenage years onwards. I must have looked at it when I was like, you know, a little kid just looking at the pictures. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I haven't actually had the experience, the first time experience of Amiga Action. So I'm gonna actually um, enjoy this. <laughs> The joys of the freaking stop forward and play personal stereos. <laughs> By the way, this was my first ever personal stereo when I was like five. <laughs> my, my dad gave me this. So let's begin with this. This time they're going to do them for some Sega game, Line of Fire. Not heard of it. Speedball dude! <laughs> this reminds me of memories with um, my cousin Ayman actually. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I've linked it in the letter I here. The gameplays, actually two of them. One of them was um, a normal one. The other one was a CD32 AG version. Both of them were so much fun, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Armageddon. Let's look at this. Make action replay! Goodness. I know, I get excited every time I see this. <laughs> every cloud has a silver lining. Killing cloud beasts. Boasts, sorry. <laughs> Killing clouds. Playing cloud. Okay, let's start it again. <laughs> Killing Cloud boasts sophisticated light and driving simulations, which become an important part of the game. When actually driving or piloting, the landscapes are represented in superb 3D moves smoothly and quickly. Okay, nice. What game is this? Never tried it. Don't know it. What is it? I want to know. Please tell me. As a cop of the city of San Francisco, you can question anyone that you may feel be able to help you to stop killing, stop the killing cloud, killing cloud. As this is the future, only the, this is the future. Only the most sophisticated hardware is used by the police department. Once you feel that you have some uh, someone who may be able to help you, you can then question them by reading their brains. Interesting concept. Hands of kickboxing. I think my brother used to play this. He also used to play um, Thingy 40 Sports Boxing. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, 40 sports, sports Boxing where the... Um, I remember the, like, the heads were like cubes. It's kind of cool to be honest. But it was funny. I used to, I used to love that. What is this? The Return of Gerald. Gerald is it? Okay. It reminds me of, you know, those type of games. Oh, it's Spin Dizzy. One of the better games, The Grace, Uncle Alan's Amstrad CPC computers, was the Electric Dream Spin Dizzy. Okay, this is just Spin Dizzy. I think Spin Dizzy World is like a slightly different one. I'm not sure, but I remember spending time on the Amiga version, of course, Spin Dizzy World. So, a lot of these 3D games look really good. In addition to the weapons, you will be able to enlist the power of dragons to put a bit of fizz into the boring lives of your enemies. Lots, lots of specialized skills can be acquired by your team, such as swimming and forest lore. Um, like its predecessors, it's not a game which inst with instant appeal, but it has a depth that will ensure you are still hacking weeks later. Listen to a freaking dyslexic person <laughs> read read to you yes i am dyslexic and it's the reading that i have the issue with the reading and the processing so yeah excuse the mishaps on missing the cues the funny thing is my dyslexia has made me think slightly differently to others and ended up ooh, my beloved living 
I love them. It's just, it, it's happy. It brings me happiness, this game. The music, the levels, the fun. What? Simple graphics make the game... Oh no, that's this. I thought it was driving, <laughs> reviewing. What is this? Max is the Millennium's latest release. A game that offers three styles of games set over a 3D landscape, made, made up of color changing tiles. The character involved is Bulbous Bilko, a chap that looks similar to that of Pac Man. It does. Bilko is only full of air, so when he accidentally jabs his soft skin against a soft spike, excuse that wind outside, my goodness. It's just getting worse and worse throughout the day. He'll whiz around the screen in pain and turn one of your lives. Oh, uh, and in turn, one of your lives will disappear. <laughs> Be on the final frontier. From the creators of Beast and Beast Soup comes the awe inspiring. It's not easy to read. Oh, there comes this awe inspiring combination of shoot 'em up action and trading stratagems featuring the innovative perspective. Full screen aliens and a whole galaxy to explore. Awesome. Awesome. We'll take you beyond final frontier. Nine lives. Pushycat! What the frick is coming out of his head? Okay. Nine lives. Bobcat is a real lad about them. Every night he's out painting the town red or wowing the girls in the various nightclubs. But even though Bobka has a lot of lady friends, there's only one that he loves. Claudette Cat. Oh, She has big beautiful eyes, takes hours perming her hair, <laughs> and Bob is intent on making her his queen. Please, I hope that's not the only reason why he likes her. <laughs> I like to see a cat with permed hair. <laughs> Set out Dragon Strike. Yeah, this is very um, games based, isn't it? It's mega action. I have to say, I've got quite a lot of reviews. Very impressed with that. So much. International stream. The only sports game I'm into is Speedball 2. to win a gold, gold medal. Achieve your place amongst the immortals of the truly exhilarating sports extravaganza Sporting Gold, offering no fewer than 21 captivating events, each one a game in itself. Interesting. For a split second I thought this was like Psygnosis is um, agony or something like this. <laughs> but no, this is actually... Um, what? Orbitus. So obvious. It looks interesting. I like that. It's very atmospheric. Yeah, definitely very atmospheric. Hmm. My friend might be into that. I might actually recommend it to him. What's this? Plotting. Plotting. Okay, interesting. Well, it seems so easy, but you can beat them. Can you beat the micro with a partner at this hideously mind boggling game? Special lives will give you extra lives, great, but believe me, you need to take every advantage of this software, this hardware. Of this what? Take every advantage of this software's hardware. I need to get my head around that first. You need the skill of a Ruby Cube. Ruby Cube. Master and <laughs> the reflexes of a pigeon. At a, at a skeet shoot. Plot your move, take aim, block a mod. It's that simple. As simple as grilling ice cubes. What the freak is this? Okay, I'm intrigued. It's like, I'm wondering if, what kind of game this is. Is it like a column style? Plays brilliantly an absolute must for puzzle fans. Spectrum is simple, but it's dead hard. More exciting than many other puzzle games. Tricky, but also very addictive. Okay, so it's 
Sickler user crash and Amiga action. Okay, what does Amiga action say? Fun to play and will keep you addicted for hours on end. A good um, game that's sure to please. Okay, well, must jot all these games down that I want to try. Eee, speedball food. Yeah, as I said, uh, I've got the gameplays linked in the description below. Or the letter I here. There we go. Just there. Just there. <laughs> and they were fun. Reminds me of Iman. Speedball too. It's fun. What's this? Defender 2. Defender 2! Yes! Remember playing this? I forgot about this completely. I like playing this on the Amiga Defender. Played it quite a bit. It's like comparable to the arcade version, I think. James Pond, I remember this. <laughs> I remember when you used to make him go out of the water, he's just you go ping 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 ping. I remember this <laughs> very well. That's what run that's what makes me think of James Pond. I need to do a nostalgia time on James Pond actually. <laughs> <laughs> Giving the game away. Legend of the Lost. When I see a blue sky like this and a little bit of thingy, I just think of Tarkin. <laughs> As in Tarkin 1. It just reminds me of that. And then I look closer and realize it's not. <laughs> what the freak is this? It's like a pill with legs. What's going on here? It's a weird looking guy. Voodoo Nightmare. What is this? Boots Barker has had a bad day. I'm sure he has if he looks like this. It's stranded in the heart of the darkest Congo. He is hounded on all sides by wild animals, natives, jungle gods, and a malevolent witch doctor, perhaps. Witch doctor. Perhaps things will improve when night falls. This huge isometric 3D arcade adventure. Uh, contains some of the most cute and colorful graphics you'll ever see. Uh, instant, instantly playable with speed, with simple controls. The game will take you months to complete. Okay, interesting. Don't know if any of you have played it or not. I've never even heard of it. <gasps> Skip the Planet Robot Monsters. <laughs> Could not say that fast enough. <laughs> I did the nostalgia time on this. It's actually quite a good game. Very retro looking that this game. Skip from the ex ex skip ex skip from the uh, I'm gonna be linking a lot of nostalgia times here. <laughs> I need to do more, honestly. I need to do more if I'm not started doing them already. It's just not being busy with so much stuff. What the freak is going on here? Excuse you, dude. I don't want to see your bull. <laughs> Off too. Yeah, not in the football. Weird that, isn't it? I'm in the speedball, not in the football. Ooh! Star Trek! At least Star Trek looking. Above. Above and right. Some pictures from the various Star Trek movies showing some of the famous. But I like Star Trek. And Star Trek, the next generation only. Not that much into the others. Just the next generation. I, I kinda. I really like it. Oh, what's this intro? The Bionic Shooter Map. Bionic Shooter Map is a superb, but sadly, the game does not follow it in its footsteps. Bionic. Oh, the intro is good, but the game is bad. Sure, but you'll probably find it is slightly easier than the likes of Blood Money. Blood Money is so hard. <laughs> I tried it. I'm gonna make a um a thingy on it. A nostalgia time. I need to put it on a list. I've got a list of games that I'm gonna. That I think. He, oh, Golden Axe. My cousin and I, Ayman and I, played this. <laughs> it was just something was up. We just couldn't. I'll link it. Again, so many, so many nostalgia times. You guys have to watch. Yeah, this is definitely games. All about games, right? And more like um, fast-moving games, I guess. Ooh, what's this? This looks nice. Star Wars. Oh, Let us talk about Esprit. I don't think I did a. Um, I've done um, Nostalgia Time on Lotus, Lotus 2. 
uh, of course without the music that we all love <laughs> but not with one. Oh, some some peripherals here and titles 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 I used to watch uh, Teenage Mutant Hero or Ninja Turtles with my brother when he used to watch it. I used to just sit there and just watch along with him. Turtles are trying to sell me stuff. No turtles on this church. Mean Streets. Delta 3A, 3A analog joystick. I have this um, for the uh, what's it called? Well, BBC Micro. Uh, James sent me, James O'Hara sent me a couple. There we go. Vault mace. Vault mace. Yeah, must be branded differently, but that's Delta 3A, I guess. Not even that says Vault mace on it. So basically, yeah, same ones. I mean, the, the, the games which use them on the BBC Micro, they're not so bad, actually, it's it's two in one. There's a lead, and there's a second one. So it just connects to the same port. So you've got two joysticks to the same port. And yeah, not bad, to be honest. It's a bit analogy. <laughs> well, of course it's an analog joystick, definitely. <laughs> But they're nice, you know. Yeah. I still need to return one of these two, because I got two of these, as in, like, you know, two sets of them. One of them actually belongs to James O'Hara. Bless the guy, he's been probably waiting for me all this time. I just got so busy. I got so much to do. I ended up building a huge freaking Sid boombox <laughs> and just forgot about this stuff. Hey, he likes. Hey. <laughs> Come here, you. Say hello. <laughs> you pushy cat. Okay, excuse me, dude. Can you just sit? don't sit right on the magazine, please? Not right on the magazine. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, just sit down here. <laughs> screen gems. Only three hundred fifty-nine ninety-nine. What's a screen gem? Fantastic pack includes Mouse, Modulator, Deep End 2, Nightbreed, Beast 2, Days of Thunder, Back to the Future 2. I've heard that's a really bad game. Back to the Future for the Amiga. I'm not tried it myself though. Freak, what's wrong with him? Oh, he's dueling. <laughs> I was watching, what's he doing? <laughs> Let me fill up his treat bowl, unless it's already freaking full already. Oh. I like the Mega Drive one. Just it's just like happy when I look at it. Master System one. That's actually very nice too. Even though I remember Master System two from back then. Why did the the second editions of these look more like toys? I guess that was intentional. Shocking prices. With a huge going there. <laughs> Lightning bolt. Yellow one. What's this? 3D pool 849. Nice. It's quite a lot of games there. Ah, oh, Super Off-Road. I have the original disc that I used to have of Super Off-Road. Still from back, you know, from back then. It's that very same disc with a very unfortunate freaking crack draw on it. Same disc. There was some in the attic, and managed to find some discs from way back then. And there you go. That's my old disc of Super Afro. <laughs> oh my goodness! I've seen this for ages. Yeah, very unfortunate character, which I will not be showing you. And I'm sure a lot of you know it. Oh, peripherals. Star can be the printers. Oh, what's this? This looks very nice. Though it looks very complicated at the same time. What are you doing? 
fucking you. Atomic hmm? <laughs> Robo Kids are amongst are almost the same as humans. They have to go to school, have to and have mummy robots <laughs> that get them to do the hoovering as and others such lovely tasks. But the robot kid in question here has just graduated from Universal University of Space Combat. And now is just itching to be a good old scrap, uh, have a good old scrap. Now oh, itching for a good old scrap with some power mad tyrant and a small army at his disposal. Of course, the mission has to be almost impossible and most likely to end up destroying him. I mean, the graphics, um, that's what caught me. They look interesting. I mean, the action replay! <laughs> the new MK2 version is here. I have that! I have it! <laughs> I have it. It's boxed, and I have it. It's yellowed, but I have it. <laughs> it's there. It's fully boxed. With all the nice goodies. And it's making me smile as we speak. And exciting Neelix as well, because he's just come up. I noticed these Dead Hell boxes were just always like this. <laughs> I cannot wait to do a video on this. I must admit, I do like the look of isometric games. They just confuse me a bit because of the perspective. <laughs> like games like um, Head Over Heels, it's like a cute dog living thing. And I, I found it cute, and I put the disc in. This is when I was little. Ooh, the Batman bag! That's what we have! That's what we got. The New Zealand store? Oh yes, all these games! My goodness me. We got the Batman bag! I like Batman the movie. What's I saying? Oh, head over your heels. <laughs> yeah. Um, it just looked like a cute little dog, so I thought, oh, okay, this is going to be a nice game. So I put it in, and... I just had no clue what the freak to do. You have to, it seems like in the old isometric games, you have to have some sort of idea on what exactly it's about. <laughs> you know, that looks nice and colorful. Everything I see nice and color, and nice shaded and colored, it just looks good. Below and halfway through, not this. And all the sections where you drive, what is this? Below, below. Why is everything going on about below? Not after this game, I'm talking about this game. In all the sections you find a pilot vehicle, you will notice the presence of a thin map on the left hand side of the screen. The way you can tell how far it is to the end of the level and when you should change to a boat. Oh, is it the same game? Above. <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused here. Everyone, yes, everyone saves money buying presents at the computer shopper shop. Oh, I would have loved to go there. I would really love to go there. Computer shopper show 90. Oh, I wasn't able to do this stuff back then. It was very isolated back then. It's a little bit sad. But still. Even though I didn't... You know, uh, I was a bit shy, to be honest. But also, of course, but, you know, I kept my, I always kept my interest to myself, and I was kind of young, this, you know, too young to gallivant around. Philips 15-inch FST TV monitor. I like how they show the scan lines with it. Tempt you. M1 time to do. I am flicking, flipping through this, not showing every single page in detail. What are you doing? No! Get, get off! No! You freak! He's fighting with a freaking rubber band! Dealing <laughs> like that, why don't you just swallow it and freaking end up eating it and get stuck in your freaking intestines or something? <laughs> it was funny though! <laughs> it's just nuts! I wish I could have filmed that! Just going <laughs> with the freaking band. <laughs> I 
We're reaching the end quickly. The pages have less colors on them. And more writing. <laughs> yeah, we've reached the end. What is this? Let me actually give you a buzz. By now you're bound to have noticed that the Amiga action is the bee's knees. So why not save yourself another uh, the bother of flying down the shops with 1.95 in your hand each month? Be a super fly guy and subscribe. That way a copy of the magazine will wing its way to you every month by post. Well, I guess my brother was the super fly guy. And I was his little sister who used to take his magazines and... <laughs> and Enjoy them that way, without spending one pound. <laughs> How much is it? One pound ninety-five. One pound ninety-five is not so bad for this. I mean, come on, it's generous content, and you get, you know, you get the cover discs with them too. So really, wow. I'd be happy with spending one one pound ninety-five on this, or even subscribing. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, flip through. Uh, thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos because I do a lot of other interesting good things. <laughs> Not just these flip throughs. Uh, yeah, don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. For now, me, Neelix, the magazine and I, I said myself twice, we'll say adios! <laughs>